Because they say that imitation is the highest form of flattery. But emulation is the strongest path to success. All right, welcome back or welcome to another edition of The Sales Life. And The Sales Life, man, is just not for those in the sales profession. Dude, it's for those building the life skills of selling. Because we're all selling our way through life, right? So we're gonna build those skills so that way you can build a, uh, a better lifestyle. It's the difference between imitation and emulation. Um, and oftentimes, man, you're probably finding that burnout. And the reason why you are, it's because you're imitating. And the imitation is the, is the flash, man. Um, but the emulation is the, is the slow burn. Because they say that imitation is the highest form of flattery. But emulation, is the strongest path to success. You know, when I've always heard the word imitation and emulation, it kind of sounded similar. But once we kind of break this down, you're gonna realize that uh, the, the differences, they've got some similarities. I guess they're kind of like third cousins, um, but they really don't mess with one another. So imitation is your A to Z. Imitation just wants the outcome. Point A to point Z, show me the money. But the emulation is steps B to Y. It's, see, it's what came after A. It's everything that came after A. So it's B on, C, D, E, F. And then it gets to Y. So that's what the emulation part, that's the long game in order to get to point Z. Most people wanna imitate success. Everybody that you see on social media, man, these people that you, that, that you follow, you want to imitate them, but few want to emulate success. Because see, emulation is the, um, it's the long game. And imitation only plays the first quarter, man. And after the first quarter, bro, they quit. I quit, I give up, they get frustrated, it's not working, it's not happening fast enough. And they quit and they go find another job. They go find something else to do. And they say, oh, I'm too late. They quit the podcast. They start, the, they, they start and stop the blog. They find another job. They run to another sales gig. They jump, 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 jump. Those are imitators. The emulators, man, they play the long game. Where what they do is, is they break the game down. And they take the fragments of what worked and what didn't work. And they say, I can use this, I can use this, I can use this, I can use this. And they, they put all that together. They press it all together. They recycle it. And then they use it to play the next round, to play another game. Think about it like this. You ever go to, um, or probably seen it on TV, because I've never been to a, a Western mining town but you, you know those old Western towns and you look at a man and, and uh, they, they depict the old, what, what it was like, man, the old OK Corral. And so down the middle of Main Street, there was the dirt road where they had the, uh, you know, they settled the differences. They came rolling out of the sa saloon and um, almost said salon. They come rolling out of the saloon and, you know, they had their gun battle. They settled their differences, right? Well, okay, so you go to one of those towns and you look at the you look at the old county store from, you know, you're standing in the dirt road and you're looking at the county store and you're looking at the saloon and all that. But then something catches your eye over there on the side. So you walk around to the side and you realize it was all a front. There's no real saloon. There's no county store. As a matter of fact, none of that is real. It's all phony because it's these big painted pieces of plywood that are braced up with two by fours in the back. See, from the front, it looks like the real deal. But once you get around and analyze it, you realize it ain't about nothing. That's the difference between imitation and emulation. Imitation is what I want you to see. Emulation is what I need to be. 
That's different, bro. Imitation is make believe. Emulation is making the belief. I believe I can have that kind of success. At least, or even more. See, when you emulate somebody, I want to know what they know. I want to believe what they believe. I want to travel down their path and do what they do and think the way they think and speak the way they speak and hang out with who they hang out with and study what they study. See, I want to do all that. I want to travel their path until I can find my own. Imitation matches the style. Emulation finds the pattern. What's the pattern of success? That's different. You got to think about imitation and emulation like this. So the difference is, is this. Imitation is, um, imitation is like going to buy that suit off the rack. And emulation is like getting a custom made suit. And so when you get that custom made suit, that tailor, he'll take all the measurements and he'll adjust for all the certain areas. And he only uses the finest fabrics. And he takes his time putting that suit together. And the measurements have to be just right. So that way when you wear it, not only does it, it fit so differently, fits perfectly, but also because it's made with the finest fabrics, the finest ingredients, craftsmanship, it lasts longer too. You see the differences between the two? You know what I'm talking about? Leave me your comments, man. I don't want you to imitate the successful, I should say. I want you to emulate what it takes to be successful. It's the look versus the took. The look is the imitation. It's what it looks like to be successful. But the took is what it takes to be successful. For thing. See, the imitation doesn't last. The imitation is a fad. And this is why people on social media, bro, they don't, they don't mess with you. This is why those big pushers, even though you buy all of their products, even though um, you comment and you repost all of their content and you, you don't even seem to get a notice, let me tell you why. Because all you're doing is you're flattering. You want to get someone's attention? Then emulate. Don't imitate. And emulate, if you do that, you're going to have so much body of work and create so much quality content I'm talking about not only for the pushers, man, I'm talking about for your customers too. Don't imitate being a salesperson. You emulate that. And there's a difference. You want to be noticed? I'll tell you how you get noticed. It's by doing such quality work. And you're so consistent. And so steadfast. And you study the game and you break it all down. People have no choice but to notice you, bro. What do you get from this? What do you take away from this? How can you apply the emulation to your career? See, I don't want you to get burned out. I'm gonna wrap up with this. I don't want you to get burned out, man. And many times, dude, you get burned out. And the reason why you are is because you're imitating someone else. You're not emulating. And see, when you imitate, you want there now. But you forget about there then. For every now that you see, every person that you see, you see there now, you forget they had a then. It was the then that got them to the now. They didn't imitate their way to success. They emulated it. It was a long slog, a long, burn a lot of failures and that's how they got to where they are today.